Hello guys, Guy Christian here again with Ford. Let's play Lego Indiana Jones 2. In this episode, we get to start up Raiders of the Lost Ark, and we'll get the characters and vehicles once again to start. So let's go on an adventure! Alright, starting at the spawn point, since Sala is here with us, we can have him dig out this plane right here that we crashed at the beginning of the movie. And this will get us the passenger jet, 50,000 studs. Oh look, friends! Let's meet them. And there's the final guy. So being this guy, we will finally unlock... Who is it? It's the Sherpa Brawler! Yay. Not very expensive, so... Hooray for cheapness! Alright, so let's move on. <laughs> Alright, outside Cairo. More friends! There he is. <laughs> this sword makes things a lot easier. You only had to have to hit him three times instead of five. Anyways, the Masked Bandit is our next character. And once again, we'll need Salah for this next vehicle, which is mysteriously also buried in something. Anyways, digging out of it's just the Army G, 15,000 studs. So, two vehicles now. Huzzah! Alright, next. Uh, let's use this thing for. <laughs> to make things a little speedier. Because we do need to use the passenger jet for this next part. Well, not necessarily in order to get over here. But we do need it, so I'll show it next, whatever. Anyways, this is Hobito Island, or at least that's what I call it, because the Hobito's tribesmen are here. Anyways, this little thing here is what we gotta interact with. Uh, there's a switch down here. Twist it twice to move that thing in, in on the right position. And then all you have to do is just pull on it. And we freeze some race markers, so... Gotta go back to the plane and <laughs> I'll go ahead and get that started. So, give me a sec. Ha. Alright, let's do this in two tries. Alright. So, yeah. This one isn't too hard, I suppose. The passenger jet doesn't have that bad controls. So it's it's kind of hard to tell where the course is. No, no, not again. That tri that's what tripped me up last time. And now I don't even know where I gotta go. Okay, there. And still don't know where I gotta go. Oh, no, 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 best finish line. Come on, turn, 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 turn. There we go. Okay. Whew. That was close. Alright, so, back on, uh, yeah, so yeah, we spawned some guy back on Hobito Island, and if any of you were paying attention to the previous movie, you can probably tell who that guy is. Don't want to trigger the race again, though. <laughs> Come on, land. Let me land, jeez. Sometimes it, it, the, the parachute mechanics just really doesn't work sometimes. It, it really is crap. <laughs> Alright, wh where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Jeez, he went far away. Alright, so we finally unlock Captain Katanga! 12,500, I think is what I saw. Alright, so let's get off this island. I'll move on to the next unlockable. Alright, back at the army jeep. There's actually a race for this vehicle right here. And I know I'm doing things sickly out of order, but, you know, I'm sorry. Oh, it went, what? It went in the opposite direction. Oh my god. Nearly screwed up there. Okay. So this, I believe, leads back to the original snow-capped area, so... I want to be careful, I don't want to hit anything, so that, you know, I don't have to show that in the video. And, uh, Oh, god, okay. <laughs> Nearly missed those two trees. And we get to unlock our specialist friend! It's the bazooka guy! So, yay! Come on back, come back here. No, get away from the tree! Come on, go over here. Alright, let's go. There we go, Bazooka Trooper from the Raiders! I love this guy so much. He blows stuff up. Speaking of blowing stuff up, going back to this gate here, it's a metal gate. So use the Bazooka guy to blow it up, and Camels! The awesomeness of desert animals. Uh, there's actually a race for this thing too, believe it or not, seeing how slow it is. Uh, it's, it's a very re weird thing to have a race for, but this is probably the easiest race you will ever have to do. Because there's really, like, nothing to it at all. Like, just slowly follow the path. And eventually... There it is. Horsies! And as that unlocks that... <laughs> that black, um... Bandit guy that, you know... The one where Indiana blew away <laughs> in that one movie. Well, I am in the movie. What am I saying? Alright, come on. Uh, no, wait, what? It didn't let me buy him! Oh, he's attacking me! Oh my god. Oh, and I can't even hurt him because I don't have a sword. Oh wait, doesn't Indiana have a sword? 
Yeah, he had one back from when I got that Masked Bandit guy. That's good. I, I wonder why it allowed me to try and buy him, though. Weird. Anyways, Bandit Swordsman, I think that was 13,500 studs. So yeah, now we have that guy. Plah. Back at the snowy region, make sure you have a soldier for this next part. And look how we do, the Bazooka Trooper. There's a little soldier door right here. All you have to do is just interact with the guy, and you'll see a vehicle right behind that gate there. A very small vehicle, too. Not worth a whole lot. It's the Snowmobile. 7,500 studs. Wee, I'm having fun. That fun's over. <laughs> okay. All right, next, back to Obia's Island. Since I got the Bazooka Trooper, I can go ahead and unlock this thing. Fire! No, fire! There we go. Nope. Okay, that works. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, the other air vehicle... Oh, all the, well, the second. Actually, there's a third. But yeah, the second one, the biplane. The one that Jock drives and stuff like that. And speaking of driving, let's drive over here. So, because these vehicles are always fast. And over here, we can find another enemy spawn point. So we'll go ahead and meet more friends! As soon as they spawn, and there they are. Let's meet them. Hi! And there you are. Okay, let's go get this guy. Alright, go on, go on. What? What just happened? Did he leave? Oh my god, please tell me I didn't just glitch the game right here. Please tell me I can get him still. Oh my god. Why isn't he spawning? Come on, come on, where are you? Come on, spawn, please spawn. I want you to spawn. Uh, don't screw my game! Okay, there you are, please. Alright, now come out here, so you don't run off like a pussy again. Oh man, that was scary. Anyways, er enemy soldier, desert. Not worth it. <laughs> Alright, following this little ocean path back here, jump on the boat here, and we're back at the final island! Anyways, Bazooka Trooper, you need in order to blow up this stuff here, or at least that box, and that should have gotten a key. Uh, I guess it's underneath this stuff. There we go. Alright, so key time, and we put in the keyhole. And when we turn it, this unlocks the naval vehicle of the game, or well, the first of three, I believe. And the funnest, the U-Boat 26. Now I'm speaking about this movie, not in the entire game, I'm sorry there. Yeah, that's probably the coolest uh, um, nautical vehicle in this movie that you can drive. There are two others. You probably saw them already if you were paying attention, but we can't get those yet. Anyways, in this center of the island here, we get to rebuild Belloc! Oh yeah, and he suddenly has the Staff of Raw. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, Belloc weighs 250,000 yeah, 250, studs. And now we have him. All right, now back here, I forgot to do this real quick. Uh, this snowman right here, what you do is you take his little hands and you put him on the green square he thing here. And you get to build a fire. Of course, it doesn't automatically ignite, so we gotta find a torch. And if you've been paying attention at all, you'll find that there there's a torch right up here. All right, so yeah, let's uh, go ahead and take this thing, light the fire, and then stuff will happen. Oh no, we melted it! In like magic, we've summoned Major Tot, I think. <laughs> Fashion with my hammer. Or my staff, whatever. Major Tot, 25,000 studs. So not bad. And he has a machine gun too, so that's nice. Alright, back at this island. Let's smash this thing right here. I'm an idiot that I didn't smash this before. And when we assemble this weird little machine right here. It's actually a pump, actually, what am I saying? Uh, press this button here, and a guy is back to life, and he kills us. <laughs> oh, thanks. I mean, you're welcome, whatever. Anyways, this is Colonel Dietrich, or something, whatever. He's a bazooka guy, so fun stuff. All right, next month on. All right, so Belloc is, in case you haven't noticed, the one character in the entire game that naturally has the Staff of Raw. And we need Belloc for this next part right here. This, there's that little light thing there, and you have to find about uh, three fixtures, oh no, four fixtures. 
in order to restore it, and I'm going the wrong way. Now, two of them you can find right next to the thing. Uh, the third and fourth are a little ways. Uh, the third is right next to this uh, vendor here, an ice cream vendor, I guess. Break the yellow thing, and it'll pop out. And then the fourth one can be found to the right, uh, very close by. Uh, there should be like a golden thing. Yeah, there's that golden cup right there in this little island here. Trophy, it looks like a trophy. And it was final dish here, and then that will activate that little light thing. So yeah, very small light puzzle. There we go. And that unlocks this gate for us, so now we can unlock more friends! And speaking of friends, let's blow this thing up and... Oh, well, I can hear the music! There they are! Yay! Alright, there he is. Took a little bit. And the enemy officer desert is now ours. He is also an explosive guy because he carries grenades, just like in um, Crystal Skull Part 2, where you had the Russian Grenadier. And there's the vehicle here, the Flying Wing. Anyone will recognize this if they ever watch this movie. 125,000 studs. And my friend didn't get into playing. Hold on a sec. Gotta get set up. Now, it's absolutely necessary that you get both of your characters into this vehicle, because otherwise you can't use the guns. So, like, have the other guy really close to you when you get in the vehicle, and he'll get into the side turn. And now it'll allow you to shoot, I believe. So, why we need the flying wing, the final of the aerial vehicles, is because there are a few hot air balloons around this area, and you have to blow them all up in order to unlock something. Uh, first I gotta find them, though. There's one! Oh, what was that? Alright, so turn around. Not very speedy turns. Alright, so yeah, it doesn't tell you the number of how many you got blow up. Just just fly around the area until you, you know, something happens. I think there's about three or... Uh, I think there's four or five, maybe. I can't remember the exact number. Um, and I'm kind of just guessing where they are right now, because honestly, I don't know. I suppose the easiest way you could find these things is to, um... Uh, go to the very south of the map and then just fly north and you should be able to run across one or two. Alright, so further on. Alright, so yeah, here's the southern end. Oh, there's one. And there's the other. Alright, so there's the last of the other five. Oh, that was a weird explosion. And there you are. And that summons... Remember him? <laughs> the enemy boxer guy. The guy who was like on steroids or something in the previous game. Now we just had to fight him right here. And yeah, this time we don't kill him. No, sadly. Alright, die. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Looks like I kicked him in the balls. Oh, Valak, anyways. So yeah, there is the enemy boxer. Huzzah! Now, that's actually all the characters and vehicles you can get without doing treasure in bonus mode. However, you cannot do treasure mode unless you get this one specific character that you have to, uh, that you only get after defeating the bonus course Hovito's Temple. So, I skipped ahead forward, did all the bonus courses, and this recording starts up back after I've done all the bonus courses. Alright, so going back to Hovito's Island. Uh, ignore all the changes in my sub count and stuff. Anyways, friends! Alright, there we are, the character that's held me up for so long, the Hobito's Tribesman. Yeah, I had to go through the entire bonus course, uh, the bonus level set in order to get this one a-hole. Or actually, it's the third course, but I mean, you need this guy because, like, you have to use him in, like, three of the treasure mode courses. So that's really stupid, but... Anyways, now that we have him, there's a little spear puzzle. You need this, you need a spear guy in order to get these the last few things. Anyways, yeah, the sphere thing unlocks that box, and the box drops two motors, and they unlock the last two naval boats, I mean, naval vehicles of the game, uh, of the movie, blah, the green and blue speedboat. And now use one of the speedboats to run the nearby uh, race. Uh, it, I don't believe it matters which one you use. It's like the uh, uh, Crystal Skull Part 2. It doesn't matter if you use, like, the Nazca Driver or the Nazca Drifter. I mean, Nazca Racer and Nazca Drifter. What am I saying? Anyways, I, I don't know how much time there is, so I'm going to go ahead and end it here with uh, me unlocking the last character, which is Sapitu. Or S uh, Satipu, whatever. This is Guy Christian Knight with Leslie Levine and Jones 2. In the next episode, I will get the power bricks for Raiders of the Lost Ark. Yes, yeah, Satipu. Alright, so yeah. 
all characters, all vehicles. See you later, guys.